Okay, here's a little bit of messing around with uh, with move face in SolidWorks, and I'd I'd like to point out that uh, um, the move face feature in SolidWorks really doesn't matter if this is native data or if it's imported. So it's probably actually better if it's imported because you're not compounding feature history problems. Anyway, um, I've initiated the feature. I'm just going to leave it on translate. And I'm just going to grab this face and then use this red arrow to pull it. And notice what's, what's happening is SolidWorks is just extending all of the faces around it which is you know kind of what you'd expect it to do it's just uh, taking the b rep and extending those faces it's not editing uh the orientation or, or anything it's just extending planar faces which is easy enough to do now you can use offset with this as well and and translate in this case you get the same results but here i'm going to grab these additional faces and uh and pull all these now um it's solidworks is still doing the same thing it's just extending all of the faces around the selection set so if the selection set is these front three faces then everything else is just being extended and if i say okay um then i've got a record of the feature here and I can back up before that feature and kind of undo it. Um, but that's that's the the SolidWorks method for using that. Now, I imported that SolidWorks part right into Solid Edge, and and I'm just going to grab this face. Notice I don't have to use a uh, uh, move face feature because it's kind of the default functionality in in SolidWorks or in Solid Edge rather. Now notice that this is doing kind of the same thing that SolidWorks is doing with extending the B rep faces, but there's some options as well. You can use this tip option and notice that the faces around uh, the selection are also are also moving they're being tipped I guess is the the way that you should look at that so uh, that's interesting I don't know if it's what you'd really intend in this case um, there's also this lift option where you can use that face just to do like an extrusion or a cutout um, or the default is just the same way that uh, the same way the SolidWorks worked. Um, to undo that, I'll just hit Control Z, and now I'll, I'll pick this face, Control Select uh, these other uh, the first one, and then I don't have to hold Control for the last one. And if I if I move all of these together, notice it's it's going to kind of do some of the same things. Um, Okay, so that's so that's interesting. Okay, now now I've switched to a this is a part I made in Solid Edge. And this is going to behave a little bit differently. Um if you grab this face and pull it, then notice those chamfers, they just come along for the ride. The whole thing moves. And notice that this is all still in synchronous mode, but that there are certain faces that understand that they are features. So these are features in a non-history based part. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know if that's easy to understand or not. See, if I pick on this, then I can actually change the value of that uh, feature but it's not a history based feature okay and that feature by the way included a couple of faces if i click on this it understands that that is a feature and i can make that different so uh, this is a synchronous part but it's definitely behaving like a feature based part so uh, synchronous models can have feature definition 
they don't they they you could mix also uh history in there if you wanted to say uh, right click right here and use this transition transition to ordered option um so the native solid edge parts work a little bit differently in this case than uh, imported parts. But in either case, you've got options uh, that you don't have in, in SOLIDWORKS.